Hello friends, I am Ragdoll Riversong and this is of course Animal Crossing. Welcome in. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. I am going to go over to Brewster's and have a couple of cups of coffee. Try to, you know, get ready to go to work and get a little bit done over there. Maybe we can get some new items to decorate with because it's hard when you're not using Treasure Islands or letting friends help you it's a little tricky when you're trying to do it all on your own <laughs> peace so precious we'll, we'll dance for a minute since he doesn't have any of our residents out here listening to him <laughs> hope all of you are doing wonderful today I have gone around and planted a few tropical elements. I've added in some of the coconut trees around. I need to take out a few of the other trees and add more coconut trees and bamboo. And eventually we'll get it looking as good as Tia's little area. Hers is kind of our starting point and where we're trying to make it look the most tropical and I already see I need to move that bamboo over just a little bit. Do I have fruit? <laughs> Let me get sidetracked before we go get our coffee. I know I promised coffee to... Aw, Tia is sleeping. We will try our best not to wake her up. Okay, I'm going to move the bamboo over just a little bit and then I'm going to go look around for bamboo seeds because I forgot that's one of the things I really need. If I'm going to turn this into a tropical paradise. <laughs> I really think this one is going to need to go over just slightly and so I'm just going to turn... place it right about there. That way we can see the beautiful palm tree looking tree and the bamboo both instead of overlapping. Yeah, that's a little better. And that's kind of what I've been up to. 
Oh yeah, I also started, I'm gonna say started, I'm not done with it. I created this little dress that I'm wearing. <laughs> also, I started this little beachy path. I like where it's headed, it's looking pretty good. I need to go in and add a few more little characteristics here and there. And I'm going to lay it on top of my other pathways, the ones that look kind of straight, like uh, over in Audie's area and over by the Nook shop is kind of what comes to mind. Like these little areas here that don't really have any anything to accentuate them. Like on our map, we have so much going on, I know. <laughs> But I want it to look really pretty on the map. I want everywhere you go to look kind of beautiful and try to keep it in the same kind of theme. But I do want our beautiful little pathway over the top of it to kind of represent the tropical vibe we're going for here. I don't think these little coconuts are going to grow right here. And I am going to need to get some money for Lloyd. But I've added it onto the ground over here, and as you can see, there's just some areas that are going to need to be filled in a little bit more. Hi Tilly, I'm doing wonderful. How are you today? <laughs> We're talking about me experimenting some more with the custom designing to go over our pathway here. And a little bit of clothing. It's not quite where I want it, but I'm learning. How are you today? I'm a little bit tired too. I went to work all day, y'all. <laughs> I'm a little bit tired. I'm trying to keep it together and trying to get everything done that needs to be done today. I think over here. <laughs> Good and thank you. Wonderful to hear. I think over here I want another one of those little diamondy shaping things and in order to do that we get our tools out and use the circle tool I think because I put that one there it's gonna make it look blobby I'll take that one off as soon as we're done and then I can go over here to the clear one and get a pencil <laughs> and I'll put a different dot in a different area just to kind of clean it up a little bit. We'll go with a lighter dot and then another light dot. And that's just really a neat kind of effect that it has. Hi Christian, welcome in. Thanks for joining me. That's kind of a neat little effect that it has whenever uh, you use the circle tool and don't make a full circle. But I'm trying to... Oh, that was a mistake. <laughs> I'm trying to fill out my little pathway a bit more and make it look a little bit better. And I just want it to kind of have like a sparkly feel to it. Apart from a big bruise on my leg from Darby. What happened? <laughs> my goodness. Alrighty, let's look at the ground and see how it looks on... I just labeled everything beachy, I think. Okay, in order to make it look a little bit better, we're going to have to fill in all the area a little bit more. Because this pathway kind of hides away part of my path. Did I put the wrong one here? Let me see. Because if I'm steadily work, he jumped on you. Oh. <laughs> oh. The puppers that think they're smaller than they are. I think I've been trying to change a path that is... Oh my goodness. Please tell me this thing was not the wrong pathway the whole time. I've been working on this thing all day wondering... Nope. 
it's it's this. Okay. So I need maybe a little corner piece for here because it's not filling in right. <laughs> oh my goodness. Looks so beautiful. Thank you so much, Tilly. <laughs> You're wonderful. I think also cleaning up these two stars are very close together so I think I'm going to move this one and I'm just gonna go in get the star stamp tool and go over the top of that one real fast and it looks like it's the lightest blue I think I can move it inward a little bit. Let's let's try about here and see what happens. <laughs> it's a whole lot of back and forth, y'all. It really is. It's a whole lot of back and forth for me because I like to see it on the pathway itself. And see, that just kind of separated out those two stars a little bit for me and that looks much better put the picture of my bruise on and my Instagram story all. Oh. Poor puppers think they're chihuahuas. <laughs> okay. I've got... I need a little bitty like space here. I'm gonna have to create like two different ones, aren't I? Oh, wow. Okay, I think I need a square that is completely full of, of the sparkly pattern. Let's go ahead and do this one because it's almost all the way changed anyway. Um... Sorry, y'all. I'm thinking out loud and trying to fix an issue that I've been struggling with with this thing for a while now. And I think my best solution is going to be... to add in a little bit extra. Let me see here. I need my pencil tool. <laughs> I think it was three and then yeah and it makes like a little diamond looking thing I was going for like a sea glass kind of vibe I hope that's kind of what it's looking like but I don't really know it's it's whatever it is at this point everybody I'm trying my best Do a few of these in a different color too because I don't know what it is about this pathway it just kind of eats away your design I feel like this one needs to be is it already this darker color no Maybe. Let's see. <laughs> I feel like it needs to be the darker color. And then maybe another star. I've been working on this thing since last night. It's been bothering me. Pathways are tricky, y'all. Went on my mom's switch yesterday and put a flower path on her island as a surprise. She is not here. She's over at her mom's. She's not well. She's in her 80s. Aw, it's sweet of her to go take care of her, though, Tilly. And it's so nice of you to do a special surprise for her for when she gets back. I'm sure she'll love it. 
Okay, I think something like this to where... I like whenever my girls do little surprises for me with Animal Crossing. It's so nice. I think this will be good. Let's check it out and see. I have no clue what I'm doing, y'all. I'm just kind of... I'm winging it. I'm not even using my little cheat sheets. Like, my little designs that I... Oh, Audie is mad, y'all. Look at her go. Hold on. We have to go... We have to go talk to Audie. Hey, girl, what's wrong? Oh, hair. It's easy for you to say that. You don't know how hard life is for a future pop star. Oh, my. Oh, my. You don't understand a single thing about me, not even one thing at all. Audie, it's okay. Poor Audie. <laughs> hey, it's super great to see you. What do you need? Life be like that sometimes. <laughs> Are we doing island visits today? No, coach. My Nintendo Online subscription is uh, out of order until around August. And hello to you too. I hope you're doing well today. She was so mad, Tilly. <laughs> How did you do? I haven't looked at my score yet. I haven't looked at mine either. I always seem to get like a, a lower score because I don't know. I haven't decorated properly, Audie. I don't know what's going on with me. <laughs> I feel so weird, folks. I don't know, looking in my windows and telling me what they think. But I also love winning prizes, so I leave my blinds wide open and my front door unlocked. <laughs> She's so precious. <coughs> Excuse me, I need a drink. I am parched. Thank you so much, Zappa. That is Coach's link. If anyone would like to go check out his his channel... He has a variety streaming channel, and he is super awesome. <laughs> Britt, uh, Coach would love to come to your island if that's okay. Um, a lot of us in my chat don't have Nintendo Online at the moment. And welcome in, Britt. I hope you're doing well today. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> but I'm headed off to go to work soon on my island. And... I was just kind of showing the progress that I've made with my pathway, and this is kind of the vibe we're going for for the whole island. I've planted a lot of uh, palm trees or coconut trees everywhere, and I'm trying to take out the regular trees, and now I'm trying to decorate a pathway here that can be used. Oh, I bet I could have used one of these. Let's see if it'll display right there. No, it will not. <laughs> it goes in way too far. <laughs> is this my beach island? It is. You're on a beach island too? That's wonderful. <laughs> That's amazing, Brit. I'm so excited to be doing an island theme that is uh, very tropical and that's really cool. <laughs> I'm trying to get a lot of my stuff done, but I'm not very good at custom designs, but I'm trying to give it my best effort. I don't know what to do about this one little square here. And I think my brain just can't wrap around what I need to do. I think what I need is something like this. Oh, come on. Work with me. Really? <laughs> but I need to clear away a little bit of the path on it now. It looks like I need to take out... Okay, let me kick this away first. My other fun part of doing my pathways is standing next to it afterward and putting down the clear path. Oh. 
so I don't keep doing that over and over. Okay, hold on. I'm going to... I had these specifically for that. We're gonna use the clear, kind of like an eraser again. And I'm gonna go up a bigger tool. And all of this looks kind of weird. So I'm just gonna kind of clear away these squares. And then go to a smaller pencil and go back in with some of our other colors. And just put a couple of dots here and there to make it kind of fit in a little better, I guess. <laughs> I want it to be really sporadic, but it's not really doing what it should for me, I don't think. <laughs> Okay, let's see what this looks like. And this could be the patch problem that I've been looking for. Oh, that's a lot better. That is a lot better. I think we can make that work. <laughs> I would like to add in maybe a few more stars, maybe more of the little diamond patterns. I think they look best in the turquoise. Maybe let's change that one because the one in front of it has the uh, other one. <laughs> so I'm just going to give it a little bit darker tone. Uh oh. <laughs> and then we're gonna get off to get coffee. And I've got a few NPC characters that I want to invite. The pathways are a little bit challenging for me, but I've been giving it a really good go and trying to make it look like what I want it to look like. I've gotten this one a little bit closer to what I want it to look like. I'm contemplating deleting that one altogether. I can't quite get it right. This one's not quite right at all. But these two are pretty good. This one needs a little more work. You know, here and there, a little bit as we go. I'll eventually get it. usually make my own pathways. I usually go code shopping and I find all of these spectacular things that all of you terrific creators have created. <laughs> and that is typically how I get my island done. But I'm giving something new a try. Let's see how we feel about that. Oh yeah, that's a lot better. That is a lot better. That looks like the patch we've been looking for. That's gonna look wonderful by Audi. <laughs> did you get all the cherry blossom recipes? I did not, Tilly. I only have two. I put the time to try and get them. It's so hard to find them. It really is. And I really think that I only got two. I got the cherry blossom stone and I got the picnic take picnic set that I wanted for uh, Judy and oh my goodness why can't I Judy and Lily why can't I ever remember her name I really like the clay dish set on top of these but the green is a little dark and I wish it were just I wish it were adjustable like we could adjust it like we can our pathways 
Okay, so I'm really hoping to add in a couple of the things you see on this side, like this little design here that looks like a broken shell, kinda, like over onto this side, and have like this really beautiful looking sea glass looking pathway going all the way through her little sandy areas over here. And as I previously mentioned, I have it over here. We're gonna cut through my area. We have it over here by the Nook Shop as well. And it looks really good on the dirt. It looks really good on the sand. All the adjustments that I've made over there have made it look even better over here. I'm very happy with the way it's turning out over here. This looks great. <laughs> It'll just be a really versatile kind of... It's not really a pathway. It's more of a border, I guess. I got the picnic set and the ponchette. Is the ponchette the little purse looking thing, Tilly? I think that one is so precious. I hear a balloon. I see it. There you go. I need to get this for crafting later. And I have a whole little area of gyroids over here that needs to be dug up. Whenever I went on uh, little trips with Captain to get some more flowers and trees and things we needed for the island. <laughs> the little bag. What do you love so much, Tilly? The little pathway? <laughs> I hope so. And thank you, you're so sweet. I think it looks okay with the little stones too, like the little circle stones leading up to Abel's are kind of my favorite so far. They're looking much better than I ever thought I could do. <laughs> okay, balloon. Oh, that's one of my favorite butterflies too. Balloon, you better be worth something. You better be a good present. <laughs> Oh, please don't go in the water. There we go. Oh, no, not a shovel. Work with me today. Got it! Aw, <laughs> oh, thank you, Tilly. That's my next step. Trying to do little flowers like those on a pathway as well. To have up near maybe the front of the area. Just like a border with maybe just a little hibiscus flower here and there. <laughs> Not anything overpowering, just something kind of lovely. <laughs> I hope. I didn't account for uh, the path, like the end game pathway eating part of my design, but that's okay. <laughs> it is looking very awesome. I need to adjust the colors on my skin tone, I think, because, I don't know, I'm looking kind of pale. <laughs> Thank you all for liking the stream. I really appreciate it. It really helps let me know what you would like to see more of. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. I go live with Animal Crossing every Sunday at 3 p.m. And I've been playing more Animal Crossing throughout the week so on Wednesday and Thursday we'll probably play Animal Crossing again as well. How much do y'all want for this? I am interested. I'm gonna take it. I think I need it. <laughs> Don't sell the butterfly, Blathers needs it. Thank you Tilly. I'm just gonna shop for a few things real fast because I've been trying to buy the items every day to make sure I have something new. I don't know if I need that little record player or not. Uh, I'm debating because I'm also trying to save some money. Let me see what flooring you fellas have. I saw the cutest little outfit like the one I'm wearing today, but it... It was made to look like part of it was a coat and part of it was uh, the shirt and the pants set. 
And I don't know if I can do that, but I really want to try. <laughs> and I might give it my best effort a little bit later. I think I might want that for a bathroom floor. But I just kind of tried doing this without any guide or anything. Just tried looking at it and doing the best I could with what I had. And this is kind of what I came up with and it matches my little sunglasses and it matches my shoes. It's, it's kind of pretty. It's going pretty well. <laughs> Thank you, fellas. All right, I am going to head over to the coffee shop. We're gonna drop off some fossils and some bugs. And it just adds a beautiful blue tone. I think I might start saving some of the fossils after we get them all turned in to kind of drop around in certain areas and make it look really pretty. You have to turn in all the stuff to blathers first. You know how we do around here. <laughs> Cute outfit. Thank you so much, Tilly. Um, I think I'll drop the wasp nest until I come back. And we could always pick it up a little bit later. I think I've done that before. <laughs> Need to hydrate. I've been at work all day and I find it a little bit harder to hydrate whenever I've been working. Because my bottle is on my cart, but I just don't find the time to drink as much as I need to. Welcome to the Kai Haven Museum. Blathers, you were snoozing away, fella. What would you like? All of these, please. All of the fossils. <laughs> and I hope you need every single one of them. <laughs> More than one, I see. Let us take a closer look, shall we? Of course. And my dress kind of matches the fossils. How precious. <laughs> well, Blathers, please tell me it's more than one. I do hope you'll take all of them, but I mean, like half is, you know, better than none. <laughs> Make a donation, please. This is one of my favorite butterfly. well, moths. It's not a butterfly, but... <laughs> It is so pretty. I love the colors. The green, the orange, the white. It's lovely. Here you go, Blathers. Take all of those. I should have done this first, and then we could have went in and sold the rest of the fossils to the Nook Boys. And then I would have a little bit more cash to donate to Lloyd, of course. We're good. We're headed up to the to Brewster's to have some coffee. I have a few people I would like to invite in for coffee. Catch up with them while we have a moment. <laughs> you have reached the Amiibo Call Center. <laughs> um, yes, please. Ready the amiibo for the customer you want to contact. Yes, please. Call my friend. <laughs> I found my book of amiibos. <laughs> Tilly, in your book of amiibos, do you have Celeste right next to Blathers as well? That's where I put them. And then I have CJ and Flick next to one another as well. Hello, y'all. I don't understand why I don't get a cup of coffee whenever, whenever we do this. <laughs> How rude. trying to get in the best I can here, but I don't know. I'm kind of blocking my friend. 
<laughs> there, that's a little better. <laughs> and... Oh, now it looks like we're kind of in some candlelight. That's a little bit pretty. And then... I think they're bored. Lathers looks unamused. Or maybe he just likes the smell of his coffee. <laughs> that is rude. Like, why don't we get any coffee? Can I have a cup to take to my table? Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Are you actively ignoring me? <laughs> Oh, it's because I'm still in camera mode, y'all. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Coffee is 200 bells a cup. Yes, please. Can I have it at my table? I can't have it at my table. That is so rude. I notice a little gap in the back of my dress where I don't have the blue when I'm sitting here. It's best to drink it fresh before it cools. Thank you. I think it's a little bit rude of me to have to come over here and drink my coffee away from my guests, though. <laughs> Thank you very much. Starting tomorrow, you're welcome to come around and order at the counter to the right. You can order coffee to go from there. Aw, sounds awesome. Okay, y'all. I'm sorry to drag you away from your things, Blathers. <laughs> Apparently, I'm annoying you a bit. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today. You rock. Um... I heard a rumor that if you invite this NPC, more than one show up. And I don't think I've ever invited... Yes. Don't think I've ever invited them. So, oh well, I was going to take a drink, but it was up there rather quickly, apparently. Yes. Wouldn't it be neat if we could just invite as many of the NPCs as we wanted to and fill up the roost to where all the seats are filled with people we invited? Like, that would be the coolest. We get to hang out with all of the sisters when we invite one of the sisters. I feel like I'm their waitress because uh, I don't get any coffee at the table. <laughs> How's it going ladies? Are we having a tremendous day? I look like I have a big nose. <laughs> if you invite Flick, will S CJ will come too. That's awesome. I didn't realize those things, Tilly. I didn't, you know, that's awesome. Like, I feel like they should have it that way at the campsite. Like, we should be able to invite them to camp at our campsite, even though we can't invite them to move in. Like, they should come camping on our island. That would be precious. <laughs> I hope you ladies have a tremendous day. Um, I hope that you enjoy your coffee and enjoy your time together while you're together here. I'm going to head off to work and get a little bit done over there. I really appreciate y'all visiting and talking with me. <laughs> the to-go coffee is really neat as well. Like, I'm happy to have that so I can get a couple of cups to take with me. Let me put my little characters back in here. <laughs> I try to keep up with my stuff so I don't lose it. I don't know if we have enough to go on a boat ride today to go collect some more materials. 
I have been going through the nook miles like crazy trying to get all those trees. <laughs> I've been working hard on my island. Custom Design Pro? Oh, well I don't think so. Custom Design Newbie, maybe. <laughs> okay. Oh, let me clear away that too, because that does help me remember which ones I've donated and which ones I have not. I need to do more fishing. I'm really good about trying to catch the bugs. Well, I've been doing an equal amount of fishing. Good for me. I don't think I've been doing a whole lot of diving. <laughs> I need to do a little bit more fishing, a little bit more diving, and get some stuff done. But yeah, it's starting to look really tropical around here, and this is starting to be just incredibly lovely. It's what I imagined. We just need to rip out some of these trees and plant in some coconut trees. <laughs> I have a whole bunch of baby ones over here. Well, no, those have sprouted into full-grown coconut trees. I did have some babies. <laughs> They're much bigger babies. Are you going to be decorating the villager homes? Yes, I want to give them all a very tropical aesthetic unless they're up in the the mountainy area over here <laughs> and then they can have their woodsy vibe if they would like which they kind of all do and that's great i may not have to really adjust these too much but some of the villagers like paint his house it could loot it could use a little bit of an improvement especially since he's kind of in the starter home you know That's kind of what we're looking at. My pockets were full the other day and I just kind of left that there. Oh well. <laughs> oh no. I forgot to... I have to get around to whenever I go around and put down the uh, custom design like over here. I'm going to put the clear pathway down so the flowers don't overtake my path. Can't wait to see them. <laughs> Tilly, you're my biggest supporter. You're so sweet. <laughs> Thank you so much. I can't wait until we get to the point where we can decorate the villagers' homes because it, I think we're still very far away from that. I did find some tomatoes on one of my boat tours with Captain. And we're gonna have to create a bigger fence for our vegetables. Okay, I've got a whole bunch of gyroids. <laughs> uh, we need to... I'll pick up the shells later. I kind of want shells on a pathway, but I'm terribly terribly bad at creating the shell path. I tried. <laughs> but it didn't come out how I wanted it to look. <laughs> Let's open these. I need to do something about my pocket situation. A hanging monitor. Oh, it was a present. A present. like why did I buy a hanging monitor I don't even know what I would use that for I did not hi fellas would you like some fossils I'm sure you would <laughs> I'm sure you would love some oh I forgot to get on here this morning and get turnips from Daisy May Oh my goodness. Okay, I think I'm going to go ahead and let those go. I need to go put the rest of this in my storage. <laughs> let me just run the numbers. Well, thank you, fellas. Sold. Covers what I spent earlier.
eventually I'll get off to work, y'all. I'm procrastinating. Oh yes, my gyroid. The whole reason I had to stop digging. Oh, no. <laughs> Do what you should. My goodness. I have a whole wall full of gyroids that are just dancing and singing along to the music. Wonderful. Let's go see what they are. <laughs> oh, there are my baby trees. That is our money. Or future money tree. I think it'll grow in this little tiny area. If it doesn't look like it's going to grow by tomorrow, I'll move it. wanting to put it behind the refrigerator. That is not a valid option for one of our gyroid friends. <laughs> I love them so much. We have a, d a collection of a bunch of different ones. adorable is that? <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at them go. They're so precious. which one of these I have on my Doctor Who inspired island but one of them is on my island and I used them as adipose but the little purple one up at the top that looks like it has a hula skirt is just the most precious thing I've ever seen and it could have worked for an adipose as well if they come in white that thing is adorable <laughs> okay Let's get some things put away. Oh. <laughs> My little bear cap. I was wearing it the whole time I decorated this outfit and it kind of matches it. <laughs> It doesn't look very tropical, but it's very adorable. I need a little tropical flower. <laughs> um... There we go. Okay, staying on task. Uh, we need to go to work. And I worked on my pathway a tiny bit. I've been working on it since last night though. And I think I'm going to give it a rest for the moment. And when I get better at doing pathways and experimenting with all these cool little designs, then I will probably do a video on how to do pathways. But... I'm just not very good at it, y'all. <laughs> I'm not very good at it. And I'm hoping to create a prettier looking dress or maybe the little blue jean outfit that I saw. But this is as far as I got with this one. <laughs> I wanted it to be the little blue jeans and shirt, but I did not get that far with it. 
but I wanted my shirt to be different than the little shirt that I saw. <laughs> I'm working on it though. I'm learning a lot as I go. Thank you all for bearing with me. <laughs> learning with me. Hello, Orville. Please send me off to work today. I'm ready to go. I do believe Lottie is waiting on me to finish a cafe. Because I kind of fell asleep last night while I was working on said cafe. <laughs> I was tired. <laughs> well, thank you, Orville. Today is technically my Wednesday, which means I have two more days to go of work. Just two more days. <laughs> and then we'll live stream in the morning on Wednesday and Thursday. <clears throat> I think we'll do Animal Crossing again on Wednesday, but I think I may take an Animal Crossing break on... I said Wednesday, right? Yep. Yeah. Animal Crossing Wednesday and Thursday, we might go over and check out what's going on in my fashion chamber, just to make sure they haven't started another little challenge. Either Fashion Dreamer or Pal World. I'm missing some of my other games. Just a little bit. We might vote about it. I always say that and then I forget to put the little votey thing up. Here. It's easier to do while we're here. So. Let's do a poll. And I'm going to put... Should we just play Animal Crossing on Thursday, too? <laughs> because it always has the yes or no question. And then I will put the other two options. Or, <laughs> because I do like these other games too, and I'm trying to learn new things in a few of them. And let me see, what was my other option? Oh yes, the Fashion Dreamer. If I could spell right, that would be a tremendous help to all of us. Okay. <laughs> Please vote. Let me know what you would like to see. And this is for Thursday coming up. So I can make out my schedule for the week tonight and post it up tomorrow. But uh, Wednesday, I definitely think we're going to play more Animal Crossing. But on Thursday, we could do something different or we could play Animal Crossing. You know? <laughs> All right. Let's see. <clears throat> Lottie wants me to design a cafe. Let's see about walls because this is just not doing it, Lottie. Um, concrete wall is just not it. How about a green painted wall? Or do we have something with windows? Something with windows would be tremendous. Are those windows? No. Um, ooh, yes. And then...
We want it to be kind of fancy looking. I do like a Moroccan tile. <laughs> That is kind of pretty. It doesn't quite match with our wallpaper though. I do want something more tropical. We may have to add decorations to the wallpaper to make it work. <laughs> and I think these are necessity for her, but we can change the color. Maybe light brown. Place it by the window. Let's do a few around this way and I'm going to make a tiny little counter over this way. It's rather shocking to me that the option winning is Sims 4 for our poll. <laughs> if we do Sims 4, if you're new here, you may not know. If we do Sims 4, it's going to be like a TV show build. I'm really fond of creating my favorite TV shows in The Sims 4. And we're either going to work on a diner or... An apartment building with a bar underneath it. <laughs> I don't know which one I would want to do yet and I get in the mood for those by watching parts of those kind of shows and one of them that I have characters ready for is Three's Company and it's an old show from the 70s that I used to watch late at night with my Nana when I couldn't sleep. I love that show. Jack Tripper was the best. <laughs> but I have Jack, Janet, and Chrissy, and the Ropers, all ready to go. And we could create an apartment complex for them and create the bar that was downstairs. I think that's good. Have a couple of tables that only have one seat. And for our little cafe here, we're going to need counters. And I just do my very best to try to make it look exactly like the TV series. <laughs> it's a little bit tricky, but it comes out looking nice sometimes. Like, I did one for Two Broke Girls, and it came out looking pretty good, I think. I hope, anyway. <laughs> Okay, I think I need two of these. This is going to be really nice. Oh, we could have a dessert case. Let's do that instead. We could have coffee and dessert. And it will be lovely. Which one of these two? I think the white one. <laughs> there we go. And... Oh, that lighting is something else. We could 
have little tea sets available for on the table. I think I like it in gold, which I don't say often, but the little treats on it are pretty. It's like a little tasting tray <laughs> that we can bring out to the table with their coffees. Um, I think if we're gonna go that way, we need the fancy tea set. And I think the two that go best together are the light blue and the dark blue. So we can have some that kind of match, but kind of don't. That way it's two different types of tea. For our customers. <laughs> oh well, I didn't think that out. Here, we'll put this one here. The little tea sets have two cups, so it kind of stands to reason they would be at a table with two people. There we go. And... These are all so pretty. single cups of coffee or tea and we're gonna need a cash register we also might need appliances with which to make coffee <laughs> maybe a grinder we might need shelves or some kind of area in which to set all this stuff Let me see real fast, too, if I have... Oh, I do. That is phenomenal news. Okay. Accent wall. And we have the coffee shop wall. That's phenomenal. If I bring this out, it's going to block my doorway just a little bit. If I do it with the dessert case, I think it will be less noticeable. But if I do that, I think I can make it to where we can get back there and make a little area for our coffee to be made and things. I don't know why I keep hitting the light switch, but I do. <laughs> All right. Let me find Oh, I don't really have a lot of stuff because I'm fairly new at getting this done. I've only had one of the little parties so far. Okay, so I think what I'm going to have to do is get one of the folding tables or a simple table. Let's see what the simple table looks like. We could use a simple table in white. Is that too much white? <laughs> that might be too big as well. Lottie's like, yes, but I think it's taken up too much of our door space, Lottie. It looks weird, Lottie. <laughs> She's like, no, it's fine. It's perfect. It's lovely. <laughs> Not to worry at all. Oh. <laughs> 
thing about right there is the most we can get away with from our little table. <laughs> Maybe we need an open sign? Maybe. Quite possibly, Tilly. <laughs> I think I'm only gonna have- that one is real trippy, the purple. I think I'm only gonna have enough room to possibly put one of these tables. I think I'm just gonna go with like a building table. It looks a little skinnier. Come on table, work with me. I was thinking like along this way and then maybe we can still get back there because it looks weird the other way. And then I will have like a little area here to grind the coffee and make the coffee. And when we get better equipment and things like that we'll come back and change it up a little bit. <laughs> oh my. And the cash register. Yes, Tilly. Oh, I could have used that one. That would have been pretty. Oh, uh, maybe, maybe not. We'll leave it the way it is for now. Do I have a cash register? <laughs> Surely it's over here somewhere, right? Okay. We can go with a digital or a modern one or a really old timey one. I kind of love the old timey one. I think an old timey one in copper. Look how precious. <laughs> I think I'm going to take out this one over here. And I want my characters to be able to walk on through there. And if we're going to have an open sign in the back, it'll have to be like right there. So this would be my table at the restaurant, y'all, or at the cafe. The one right back in the very back, all by itself. <laughs> that would be me and my hubby. Because we like to sit where it's kind of alone. <laughs> what color for the We're Open sign? Should it be orange or red or green, purple, blue? I don't like the purple one. The old one is the best, Tilly. I uh, can't do that with that chair there. I thought I could have an extra chair. <laughs> I don't know. Do we need the open sign inside? <laughs> I think we do a menu instead. I think for the diner we do an open sign. We do like a little chalkboard menu to let everybody know what we have in our tiny cafe. Oh, what are the other options? Desserts or options? We could have the dessert board up to tell them about all our fancy desserts. And of course, our coffee speaks for itself. It's all over the walls. <laughs> it looks like Sims is winning the poll. Thank you so much for voting, everybody. I greatly appreciate it. And if we play Sims, I can't think of the other one that I have done. Those little cakes look delicious in there. They look absolutely amazing wait a second you didn't tell me what you want to do yet 
Um, do we get to do the outside or did we already? I think I already decorated the outside. Maybe not the open sign. It's too big. It is a little bulky. I think the diner is bigger that we get to decorate and maybe we put one in there. <laughs> I already did the exterior. Okay, I'm finished. Let's decide who will be working here. All right. Um, Lobo and Sprinkle, or I kind of like Poppy and Sprinkle. I think they make an awesome looking couple for making some coffee and some cakes. <laughs> Okay, I'll call the staff. Wonderful. Wait, before we do this, we need to give our new cafe a name. If you have any ideas, I want to hear them, or if you don't right now, that's okay, we can name it later. Let's give it a name. Okay, what were you thinking? I wasn't really thinking, but... <laughs> the board is so much better. Yes, it looks a little bit smaller. It's it's a little bit more dainty. Um, what should we name our island cafe? I don't really have any good ideas. <laughs> I know that's really hard to, to imagine. I know, I love Poppy. He's so awesome as our staff member. Um. I don't know, y'all. What should we name it? I need just a moment and I will be right back, y'all. Just like five minutes. Be right back. <laughs> Excuse me, I had to run to the restroom real fast. <laughs> okay, so um, are we thinking maybe Beachside Cafe then? That sounds pretty awesome. Let's go ahead and start typing that in. Let's, let's see. Beachside. 
Little Tiger Raid, thank you so much, Little Tiger. I appreciate all of y'all coming to visit me for a minute. <laughs> thank you so much. We are playing Animal Crossing today and decorating a little bit at work. If this is your kind of vibe, don't forget to leave me a like. I go live every Sunday around 3 with Animal Crossing. <laughs> um, Beachside Cafe. Thank you so much, little tiger. I greatly appreciate it. What were you playing today? <laughs> How are you doing? This is my friend Little Tiger's uh, link if y'all are interested. He is a variety streamer. Super cool to hang out with. Super chill environment. <laughs> Always lots of fun. Okay. We've I'm named it Beachside Cafe. <laughs> Alrighty, we've got ourselves a name. We've got ourselves a beautiful little cafe. We're gonna take a picture real fast. Oh, we've got some new votes for our poll. <laughs> if you would like to weigh in on what we're playing on Thursday, I'm gonna make out a schedule today. You were playing Kalia. I don't really get into that game that much. I, I love the way it looks, but I haven't tried it because I heard it's not great on the Switch, but then my friend told me that it was better on Steam Deck, so I'm like, maybe I should give it a try. <laughs> I haven't really tried it yet. I've been playing a whole lot of Animal Crossing lately. Since I've started this island without uh, Treasure Island or anything like that, it has been so interesting to try to get it done, you know? <laughs> Thanks for joining me in the raid. Make, aw, make sure to hit the like and sub button and show Ragdoll some love. You're so sweet, little tiger. Thank you so much. And thank you... Autumn Arius Pixel Man and Bonnie Bunny for joining me. I appreciate all of y'all so very much. All of the lurkers that are here today, I appreciate all of you as well. Thank y'all for joining me. Thanks for voting on the poll. Y'all are wonderful. Wait a second, you didn't tell me what you were gonna do. Why does she always have to know what I gotta do? <laughs> We forgot to take the photo. Normally I don't stream Paleo. I play it for myself, but it was kind of like a last minute decision. I like watching people play it. Don't get me wrong, but I just heard that it didn't do well on the the Switch. And I just recently got the Steam Deck and I didn't know what plays well on it. But I heard that it does wonderful. <laughs> Okay, we're going to take a picture of our little cafe real quick. Late little tiger raid. No worries, San Sanaju. I hope I said that right. I'm terrible with names sometimes. <laughs> no worries. Thank you for joining us. Okay, we're going to take a picture real fast. And a few words. I'm so happy. Thank you all for helping me. I love the turquoise vibe for the tropical island. I feel like that's just it for my island. <laughs> I've been trying to get into doing uh, my own custom designs lately as well, since my uh, online subscription kind of went off the rails for a moment. <laughs> I'll probably get it back whenever August rolls around and it's my birthday, but right now we're working on birthday presents for both of our little ones and we've ordered some stuff and all of the presents have started coming in and we're getting so excited. They are going to love their gifts. Their dad is amazing at gift giving. His love language is definitely gift giving. 
He is super phenomenal. <laughs> I think it came out lovely, but what do you think of the photo? I think it's perfect. It's wonderful. Wonderful. Thank you. It's looking like Pal World is winning our poll this time. <laughs> I will be making my schedule this afternoon or early tomorrow morning and posting it before the, well, it'll be the start of the week, you know? <laughs> I had a hard time keeping my tummy from grumbling while we were taking that photo. I feel that, Nico. I've been at work all day long and my tummy is starting to grumble as well and I'm just trying to make it through until dinner time. <laughs> <laughs> if only I could stay as calm, cool, and collected as Wardell. Wardell is pretty awesome. I'm gonna go, but I'll be back. Okay, little tiger. Thank you so much. <laughs> Enjoy your dinner. I'm gonna go. I haven't been feeling well. Aw, feel better, Christian. So sorry you're not feeling well. Thank you for coming anyway. Aw, you're so sweet. <laughs> Hope you feel better soon. Okay. We were daydreaming for a minute about the work we could get done on our little island here. Let me grab a sip. My goodness, Lottie, you're spoiling me. <laughs> Don't worry, I haven't forgotten you too. <laughs> Thank you for all your hard work. Just so pleased to get another business off the ground. Everyone looks so happy. The businesses are my favorite thing to decorate because if we do it right, we can have our whole beach looking very matchy and beautiful. <laughs> Aww. Here's pure joy. <laughs> Let me know when you're ready to collaborate. Okay, I would like to go see who is out on the beach so that I can create a vacation home for a few people. And you just gave me a lot of money, so I would like to work a little longer. And I would like to see what you have to buy, please. Okay, I keep seeing this tree, but I don't ever buy it. Because I really don't think I need it, need it. My two mini dash hounds are going crazy, running around and around the living room. Oh my goodness, Tilly. <laughs> I can only imagine what that looks like. Like, I used to have only one little dash hound, and it would run around like crazy. I can only imagine two of them going crazy. <laughs> We may need these. I don't know though, that's a lot of money. I think I'm gonna pass. And, oh, I do like this though. I don't know if I need this, but I think it would look really cute over by the Nook shop to have it just in case. Remember if I bought any chocolates yet to entice my villagers to come on over here? What I usually do whenever I'm going to create an island in which I'm gonna have uh, a bunch of villagers that I may or may not let go if they would like to go at will. <laughs> like anytime they ask we might let them go ahead and go just to do a villager hunt when we do get some Nook Miles up. But it will have to be a tropical villager while it is summertime, and when summer is over, we're gonna kind of have whoever is there be there and decorate their area accordingly. The other dash down is asleep, sleeping through all that noise. Oh, how cute. I love them so much. <laughs> I thought we already had a vacation home for Lobo. Did we not? It, who is... Who are you? Wolfgang. Wolfgang and Lobo look so much alike. And Darby is howling. Oh, how precious. <laughs> She's telling him to calm down. 
So about these vacation homes, I think I might be interested, but I can use some help deciding. Uh, let's chat. Let's see what we can do for you. I do like the wolf villagers. They are so precious. Okay, y'all, it looks like our poll is tied up. We need some people to get in there and vote and break that tie because I don't know what to do still. <laughs> it's a toss-up between Pal World and Sims. Here's what I was thinking for my vacation home. Rock and Roll Arena Wolfgang. <laughs> that is a very nice concept. The other day, whenever I was trying to stream uh, Spidey, which is my dog, for those of you who don't know, I had her in the room with me, and I had to hold off a few minutes before going live and made myself late because she was just going absolutely crazy because they were mowing the grass. Usually, usually, she can lay down here by my feet and just kick it with me and just be here while I'm streaming to hang out with all of us. But they were mowing grass, they were outside and making noise, and she was not having it. She just had enough. So she was howling and barking, and I just not heard her make any kind of noise like this in a long time. <laughs> She doesn't like when the neighbor <laughs> that lives on the opposite side of us comes over onto our side and is talking on his phone. <laughs> it makes her start to go off. I'm like, well, you know, that is her business because you are kind of in her area at that point. <laughs> You're on our porch. Rock and Roll Arena. I feel like an arena would have a couple of layers to it. And so I feel like something like this is needed. Thank you all for liking the stream. I really appreciate it. It does help me to figure out what we're going to stream more of. And it does seem like a lot of you love the Animal Crossing. <laughs> this is where I'll be vacationing. What a location. It'll be a sight to see when it's done. I'll get out of your hair for now. Good luck, Snarl. <laughs> Snarl? My goodness. Okay, so for the outside, I'm thinking a little bit of something. Uh, he wanted something rock and rollish. He's on my island. I love him. Aww. <laughs> We have similar taste in villagers, Tilly. I don't know why I kind of want to give him a very dark kind of inspired home. Like rock and roll just seems to me like it would have like darker tones, you know? I tend to always go with something that matches the character too, but he kind of requested what he requested. <laughs> oh, there we go. And then I think for our rock and roll area, we're going to have it set up out here like this is a little stage. He is in love with the instruments already. I think we need a microphone as well. Maybe some stage lights. He's so happy. The client is pleased. I think we're going to get a bunch of cool side tables.
And we may need to turn this stuff. It's not gonna fit as well as I thought it might fit there. Oh, we were doing so well, and now it says we're not receiving enough <laughs> to keep streaming. Let's let's just hope that goes away soon. And then this could be like a VIP section for a couple of lucky viewers. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. We need more chairs. Okay, it looks like it fixed itself. I love when it does that for me. <laughs> I think we'll place one of these here. And then... I think we'll have one going the opposite direction too. Maybe? I don't know. I'm trying to fit everything in the best I can. Do we get a microphone? We do. Awesome. And let's go with PA speakers so everybody over here can hear. And everybody in the back, you know, we don't want to leave anybody out. <laughs> I think we'll have another private area over here too. And we're just going to set it up kind of like a nightclub, you know? Let me see what I can get accomplished. And he's just got like his group, you know? Put a mohawk on him? No. <laughs> Would it be like a hat? That would be cute. Okay, we need a few. Whoops. Sorry, Wolfgang, you're not keeping that one. We need a few of these chairs. He's like, what are you doing? Well, we're selling out your show. And you're going to have so many new friends, Wolfgang, that you're going to be the most popular fella around. And that's what we're doing. <laughs> Here, actually, let's pull this up this way. keep it pretty consistent but I'm running out of space. I still want walking room up here. <laughs> Let me just arrange a few things a little bit differently. Wolfgang is just shaking his head like yes. All of this looks absolutely great. You're doing a wonderful job. Thank you. <laughs> Too kind. Okay. I think we need at least two more chairs. Okay, maybe a few drinks on the table, because, you know, when you go out. Oh, it could be like a little uh, nightclub kind of scenario. Hey, 
always happy about that. The singer always needs water. Always. <laughs> I learned that from my hubby. Always needs beverage. Let me see what we need. We need a couple of beverages for the tables, too. Like, you know. OBS is acting crazy again. That's alright. I think it's gonna be... There it goes. It's just doing it to panic me. That's all. Just to make me go, why? They look like beverages to me. Let's give them a variety of drinks. And... Unfortunately, the this, but let's go with old flooring. Reconnection successful. Let's give it a second. Hopefully it starts evening out here. <laughs> it just doesn't want me to have a anxiety-free stream at all. <laughs> Not happening for me, you know? Anxiety free stream. Come on. That's what I thought we were doing today. Alright, and then I need like a little bedside table for the fella. And definitely giving off those bachelor pad vibes, you know. Sofa and iron shelf for the living room. It looks like it's doing all right at the moment. Fingers crossed it keeps going for just a little bit longer until we can get through with stream. <laughs> um, I'm gonna give him a little restroom as well. try to give all of them a little restroom and then whenever I have a bigger area to work with like you get to adjust the size of their rooms later we'll give them a little bit better bathroom situation but for now <laughs> this is what he has this is what we're dealing with Wolfgang let me do this actually come on couch work with me Oh no. <laughs> there we go. And then I'm gonna bring this over and this over too. I thought I could create a little privacy for his bathroom, but you know. We get what we get, Wolfgang. Not happening for you, pal. <laughs> He's just nodding his head agreeably like he knows. He knows. Okay. I think since our poll is split, I may have to just, uh, it's good. May have been my internet. No, Tilly, I think it's my internet because on my side it kept telling me stream error. And now it's working much, much better. But 
there wasn't any difference in anything that I did. I kind of pushed my chords in a little bit better, but it didn't really, you know. <laughs> I'm, I'm slowly replacing all of the things that I think might be the problem. Like, I replaced my chords, but now if it's not the chords, it needs to probably be the capture card. So, I don't know. <laughs> If it's not the chords, it's the capture card. This is his little bachelor pad, and I think I'm going to wait to give him a bathroom until he has an upstairs. And this is just what we got done for the little fella today. <laughs> Let's see, what do we got for your walls? What do we got? that's kind of neat for you. For his rock star lifestyle. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> it's too cute. Oh, maybe some gears. Those are kind of punk rock. <laughs> uh, maybe he likes KK's music, and those are some of his inspirations. have a whole bunch of stuff at the moment like I previously mentioned but I'm trying to make the best of it and just kind of adding in whatever I think he might love <laughs> I've got what I've got <laughs> maybe put his picture on the wall um he and Lobo do look very similar. He looks like he's brooding in this one. <laughs> we'll give him a little photo to the side. I wish there were a few more wall art pieces. Something kind of... Kind of rockish and not. I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's just not really what I'm looking for, I guess. that one and then maybe a greenish color alrighty let's see how Lobo likes his new place <laughs> or not Lobo Wolfgang I'm sorry Wolfgang I'm a terrible hostess <laughs> it might have been because my children are probably on uh What's it called? Scratch again. I forgot to tell them to wait until I was done streaming today. <laughs> I'm so excited. I hardly know what to do with myself. I can't wait to take a look around the place. They get so excited to come home and play their games as well because we've all been at the nursing home on a Sunday. Sunday is our day to spend the day together, but they do unfortunately have to go to work with mom and dad, and then most of the time they go to school while mom and dad are at work, which is awesome. And then the rest of the time we have our time together. <laughs> so they like to get on there and play their games as soon as possible, too, which I don't blame them. <laughs> I want to play my games. 
want to hang out with my friends. I will try to make sure that is one of the things I remember to do next week, though, whenever I'm streaming, is to let them know to hold off a bit so it doesn't interfere with our Wi-Fi. <laughs> and now that that's all done, why not sit a spell? Oh, I wish I could, Wolfgang, but I really should get going. I figured as much. Well, I can't thank you enough for all your hard work. Come by for a visit anytime. You're so kind. <laughs> He's such a sweetie. I probably should have taken a picture of the outside part because it was the most punk rock, but you know. Okay, before I forget, yay! Thank you so much, Lottie. <laughs> now I can share the good news. Paradise Planning is teaming up with the one and only Happy Home Academy. In what way? <laughs> Oh, I'm sure you've heard of the Happy Home Academy. You must have seen their home evaluations in your mailbox each Sunday. The Happy Home Academy is offering a service to share a design portfolio. Oh my gosh. You can use the internet to go on tours of vacation homes or facilities. I bet you I need online for that as well. And that's probably going to have to wait until closer to August. <laughs> But thank you, Lottie. You're so sweet. <laughs> Should be all set up. Well, thank you, Lottie. Appreciate it. Um, let me look out on the beach and see who else is there real fast. Because... I am trying to collect all of my favorite villagers on Happy Home Paradise. <laughs> and some new villagers I haven't met yet. I think that's all of the villagers I would like to make a home for today. When I get some more items, I do want to go back and reimagine a few of my vacation homes because I know the, a few of the ones that I got done in the very beginning could use a little bit of work. And I did find myself uh, very inspired by Paradise Planning when coming up with my little pathway because I was over at the table and like the colors for the table here are kind of what I'm going for, like the browns, but with the blues and the pinks and I don't know, just, I was on this and listening to the music last night and I came up with this beachy little pathway here that I'm going to continue working on and kind of pushing the areas out just a little bit farther because they show up a little bit better on my uh, pathway whenever they're out into the little clear portion a little better. This did not work as well as I wanted it to for taking up a whole area. Like, I need to go in and adjust all of these little pieces to look like this to cover up our little side areas. And I need to work on my stones a bit more. <laughs> I'm hoping to have a few new ideas for clothing next time we hang out. I did come up with this cute little summer dress and I want to try to do the one where it looks like a suit but it has like the little jacket. Like I would really love to do one of those but they look a little bit tricky and I'm trying my best and I'm learning as I go but I'm hopeful. <laughs> and I thank all of you so very much for putting up with me and for coming to watch me stream and for helping me out with some of my decision making. I hope all of you have a fantastic rest of your day and I'm just overwhelmed at how many new friends we have lately and I thank you all for coming to watch me and thanks for hanging out while I do this. You're the best. Thank you Tilly for always being here. You're so wonderful. <laughs> I hope you have the best rest of your weekend, and bye friends! I hope to see you all on Wednesday!